really are taking over, and you especially with Succession, because everyone here, I'm sure, is like a massive fan and is going to be hounding you for season three spoilers. I wish I could give you season three spoilers because it would mean that I would know something, but I know I have no idea. They haven't even started. They, I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? Okay, well, see, that's good to know. But I do have a question for you because I know you know Shiv better than anybody. Yeah. Did she know that Kendall was going to do what he did? Oh, she, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so at all. No, I think that really came out of left field. I think that was like... But maybe she did. I don't know. It depends on, like, we, we cut at a point where we don't know what's going to happen next. And they, they, they start, you know, the first, between the first and second season, it was 24 hours. Or no, not even. It was like five minutes. Um, so maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I feel like at this moment, she didn't. But maybe she did somewhere down in deep inside. Who knows? Are you someone who reads the end of the script before the beginning? Because I, I spoke to Sean Bean years ago, and he said that, you know, after getting killed so many times, he just, like, reads to the end to see if he survives. Do you read to the end of succession scripts to, like, figure out what's going to happen next? No. That's like reading a novel, like the last page of the novel before you start it. No, I never do. No, no, no. And this one, episode 10 of season two, I, I was reading by myself in a... Um, in my, in my trailer by, by myself and no one's around and I still have my hands over my face like covering my mouth in shock because it really came out of left field. Yeah. What do you make of the, <laughs> the love for Succession because everyone's so obsessed with the show. I mean I would imagine we might even get some Halloween costumes of you guys. Do you know, I've seen one or two already and I've been very honored. Um, it's been some, some red wigs, high-waisted pants and turtlenecks. It's uh, yeah I guess it's a shiv look. Yeah. What will you be for Halloween then? Probably not, Shiv. Definitely not. Um, I don't know, actually. I gotta, I gotta find a party to go to. Yeah, do you have a favorite like, costume of all time? Like, one that you loved more than the rest? Well, my fr a friend of mine is a costume designer. She has an amazing Halloween party every year. And most of the time you can't recognize anyone who's there because they're all dressed in these amazing outfits. One of my favorite ones was hers. She came as Wilson from Castaway. She, drew, she made this soccer ball like this and walked around the party. <laughs> I had a great big soccer ball. I was uh, like an evil anime character. I'd painted my eyes to look like, when I had them closed, they looked like cartoon eyes. Yeah, not many people recognized me, which was great. I love it. I love it. You very much get into it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So what is your favorite scary movie? Because we're, you know, we're, we're preparing some Halloween content. So what's your favorite scary movie? Oh, favorite scary movie. Do you know, I just watched on the plane on the way over here, Hereditary. Which is an interesting movie to watch on the plane because you don't want to, and it's very like in and you're all like this. And I kept looking up and thinking there was some person standing by the toilet door, and you know, it's all very shadowy and dark. So that was like my recent favorite. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's Midsummer as well. His other film is so good. Yeah. Okay, I have to ask you one more succession question. Or actually, what is the succession question that you get asked the most? Is it whether the Murdochs watch, or is it what happens next, or what would you say is the biggest one? I don't know. I, the Murdoch, that one I get a lot. I also get, um, why do you like Shiv? And now I guess I want to say, like, why do you like Shiv? You know, like, I don't know. I, I like her because I get to play her, and she's pretty fun. What's the future of Shiv and Tom, too? That's an important one. Actually, that's the question I get a lot. Like, why are they together? Um, but I feel like it makes sense for... I, I, after first season, people were like, what's the deal? Why are they together? But I, you know, it's... It makes sense to me. Could she even get divorced if she wanted to? I don't think she would, though. I think she's... She's a... She's a type A achiever. She's like, no, this is the things you do, and this is the things that I've done, and I'm going to stick to it. Maybe she'll blow it all up. Who knows? Who knows?